morning, Mama. Morning, everybody. Chad, and their farms. What? Your farmer doesn't vlog? <laughs> They're getting a little testy with me. So, these are my neighbor's cows, neighbor's cattle, and they are Gelb V. Gelb V. There we go. Gonna spin you guys around. These are. Gelby Beef Cross, Gelby Angus Cross. Anyway, and he's got one huge bull that showed himself a little bit. And I stop by every now and then and just hang out with him. Uh, this is out by our house. I'm still quite a ways from the farm. He did offer me some calves. Um, I mean, I'm gonna buy them, but you know, let me know what you guys think of the, the Gelby Angus Cross and the Gelby and, you know, his bull has got away 16 1800 pounds he's huge you know you see him in that one little clip i'm taller i'm standing on a hill but the bull is huge like ginormous so just right across the road from my house all i'd have to do is get a trailer haul him out to the beefy boys they could all hang out and i could have to break ice during the winter i don't know let me know So that's kind of the cool part about this bike. It's so quiet. Now I'm on the base rock driveway, but it's so quiet they don't even hear me. So you can sneak up on them. But I see where this would be highly advantageous and beneficial to hunters. There's a huge market for those of you that hunt out there that have quite a hike to your stands or your blinds and you don't want to make any noise getting there. Oh, I forgot, Mr. G has our turkeys and it slipped my mind and I heard that turkey call. I was like, oh man, we got a wild one. Morning, lady. How you doing? You want to race? You feeling it? It's Monday. You feeling it? Ready? Oh, pig, 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 pig. Oh, yeah, pig, 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 pig. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Baby. Got it. Let's go this way this morning. Hey, what is this? What is this? I didn't think you did that. You over here rooting, huh? Look at all that mud. It's a good mud. It's a good mud, huh? So I'm not sure. I'm so I'm pretty confident you guys can hear it in my voice but my allergies are strong this last three or four days. And the older I get, the more, the more annoying they get, or more, I don't know, they seem more prevalent. How's that? But they cut this field, and then I was out here, goodness, the next morning, and since then, it was last week, since then, man, it just messed me up. Like, I don't feel sick, but I sound like it. That is, that is quite the swimming hole now. What? I ain't got marshmallows, that's Grandpa. It's Grandpa due to marshmallows, not me. Man, that is a big pig. Wish I could show you guys like how big she's getting. Here, we'll try this. That, it, it is, it's just a Culligan jar. You know, it's just a Walmart. But at her level, that's how big she is compared to that. She's a good, well, the camera doesn't even do it justice. That's not zoomed, nothing. She's a good 
Her back's a good foot taller than that bottle. The reason that's interesting to me is she's an Idaho pasture pig and I've only had American guinea hogs and it takes almost 18 months for an American guinea hog to get to 200, 250. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that, you know, you can feed them super feed. You can do this. If just a normal growth rate. You're looking at 18 months in my opinion, depending on where you want to process it. She's born in January and she's, you know, under a year, that's a 200 pound pig easily. So just depending on what you can manage, there you go. Looking good. Woo. Wilma, don't touch that fence. Don't do it, trust me. Okay. Still pleased with everything Gallagher's ever sent to me. So, coupon code down below. See if we can get the beefy boys to chase us on this bike. What do you think, boys? What do you think? <laughs> what you know? Huh? Working hard or hardly working? The first day I had the bike out here, they chased me. I think they thought I, they thought I was a cow, and they haven't done it since. But it was pretty comical. What do you think, boys? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Come on. I love mornings like this. There you go. Oh, dude. Don't be a turd. I gotta spray you first. Because if I don't, you'll move. There we go. All right, here's the cubes that you spilled. But I'll tell you what I do enjoy. It is 8.30 in the morning. I'm a little late because I had an appointment after you saw me with my neighbor's cattle, but it's 8.30 in the morning. Check this out. 63 degrees. Man. Feels amazing out here. Absolutely amazing. This was already off because I knew we had a hot spot over on the back side, so I fixed it off camera real quick. Like I just moved a wire back onto the back onto the line holder there we go that's what we like to see i can handle that how about you how about you bub how about you huh let's go do the bird herd the goat club the turkey team the pig party the dog the dog Morning, ladies. Let's move the party right here today. My goodness. Leia. Woo. Leia and Lola. Ginormous. Absolutely huge. Nine months old on the left and almost two years on the right. No, that's not right. May of 20. 18 months, give or take. Pretty impressive. Those real good pigs. Good mama. She's gonna be a good mama. She didn't like that. <laughs> Ain't happening, huh? Ain't happening, huh? Not yet. You're all right, I'll leave you alone. Definitely getting bigger though. A lot bigger. Prettiest animal on the farm. Here she is. There she is. Yeah. The prettiest animal on the farm. The prettiest goat. The prettiest pig. The prettiest steer. Chicken. Turkey. What else we got out here? What's up, boys? 
I see you knocked over the tubs. Is you ready? Okay, let me get in there. All right. Oh, smell a treat. Here you go. What do you smell? What do you smell? Oh, I know what she smells. I know what she smells. So, last night, myself and some friends, in case. You guys are terrible. There we go. Myself and some friends were down at Walker Farm Fam. And these shorts, these shorts I'm wearing were clean out of the dryer last night before we went to Walker Farm Fam. But I may have pet Xena. And then I'm wearing these shorts again today because I knew I'd be out here on the farm getting dirty. And somebody smells Xena on my shorts. Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. They say a dog can smell like we see. So think about that. We can see the sun, the moon, and the stars. Grasp how far away those are with the naked eye. And she can smell that good. Dogs can smell that good. Smell that well. Smell that great. Dogs can smell really good. What's up, boys? It's like the bachelor pad. The bro pin. Huh? What y'all think? What do you think? Don't be shy. I know why you're shy. I got the mouth breather here. Hey, back up. Back up. Back up. You make them nervous. You make them. Oh, she wants to run. Go. <laughs> here she comes. Get ready. All the red babies still doing good. A couple barred rocks. Where's the other one? There she is. The Lone Ranger. Whether it be a him or a her, I don't know. But the Lone Guinea. My goodness. <laughs> go. She stirs everybody up. Go, go. Bam. You gotta learn to use the brakes. <laughs> Here she comes, watch. I'll let you listen real close. Oh. Oh. Come on, I need like a full sprint right beside me. Whoa, took a detour. Where'd she go? Too funny. Run right by me. There we go. Look out now. All right, come here. I sure. Oh. <laughs> She's not done yet. She's not done. Turns like a school bus. Every chicken and turkey out here runs for its life when she starts running. Yeah. <laughs> there she goes. Gotta have that H2O. So anyway. That's a perfect time to mention Smokey's Treat. Call it a treat because it's got a little, I think it's just molasses. See, Grandpa gave you some straw. There's some hay or something there. On a red. On a red, what you think? CB, you eat right out of there? Huh? That's not scratch, I know. Is that, is that not what you're looking for? But that treat we give her is actually called Axistatin. Axie statin, something like that. But anyway. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, sorry. I thought we was getting closer. I'm sorry. Apparently not. It's called Axistatin, and it's actually vet recommended for joints. Um, I would compare it to like maybe fish oil or glutamine for dogs. When Smokey was younger, a lot of y'all will remember she had a limp, pretty significant limp for, you know, up until she was six, eight months old, even into a year. And we started giving it to her about eight months old. And now it's, you know, it's virtually gone. So. You know, that's a pretty risky spot to be because if I just push you in and throw the lid on, you're in trouble. And you didn't lay me a green, uh, is that a green one? Is that green or blue? Did you do that? Anytime something's vet recommended like that, um, you know, we had to give it a shot. So it's just two of those chewables a day based on weight. She gets one in the morning and one in the evening from my dad, from grandpa. Oh, Pennyworth's gotta, we gotta, be, we gotta do something about Pennyworth. But I'm very pleased because it stopped the limp almost, almost instantly. We noticed a difference within about a week or two. So no complaints. Man, we need some more roosters. That's what we need. One thing about that Axistatin too is it's not, hang on, it's not cheap, but what it does for your dog is well worth it. So. And one of y'all actually went to our Amazon store. I'll link it down below in case, I'll link it down below in case one of y'all need it but somebody actually sent us a whole tub of it for Smokey and I really appreciate it. Cause it's not, it's not cheap, but it's good. It definitely works. You got him over. You kind of over all these roosters yet? Batman, you okay, buddy? Fox, what about you, buddy? P-Dub? We gotta talk, man. I put you on Craigslist. I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have a split party decision about what to do with you, because I got some people that are like, don't band him. He's so pretty, he needs to make babies. But then the other side of that is, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to. I don't want to give you up because you are pretty. But I can't keep you as a buck because you're just making it weird all the time. My little buddy's not here, and there's an egg way over there. Oh goodness! Oh, there's two eggs. Hang on. All right. So here's what's cool. One of them is really warm. The other one is not. I would say. This is sassy from yesterday afternoon, this one. And this is gray from this morning because when I got here this morning, gray was actually coming out of the coop. So that's awesome. We have not seen gray lay an egg in a very long time. So you want one? I'll give you one. Come here. Shell and all, how about that? Does that sound good? Eat up, lady. Man, she's looking slim. I'm not gonna take it. 
<laughs> You're alright. Go ahead. You look like a puppy when you put your ears forward. Yep, you look like my little puppy. You look like that little puppy I used to have. Yep, now you're like a big strong dog. Big strong guard dog. Yeah, big strong guard dog. Big strong guard dog. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, here, look. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. I'm gonna put my hand in there. You eat it now. You eat it. I haven't been giving her the shell and I don't think dad has either. So she like forgot what it tastes like, but I'm sure that's good. It's got to taste good to her. Pretty stinking excited about how the farm's going. Let me show you, there's Magneto and there's Magneto and Gray. You hear us talk about them and say hi all the time, but the two that are laying in the coop are these two right here. So this is the one that laid this morning that was coming out of the coop when we got here. I didn't, it's not on camera. This is the one that's been laying for quite a while. It's a cream leg bar, an Americana, and of course our rooster Magneto. And we had another cream leg bar out here, which is now in the turkey pen. But this summer they quit laying for almost a month and they didn't really molt, but I was worried that they were laying in the woods and we were losing eggs. So we took one of Magneto's girlfriends, which is her sister, exact same chicken, cream leg bar. And we put her in the turkey pen so that we could make sure that they weren't laying in the woods. And when we moved her in the turkey pen, we were able to, I call it the turkey pen. There's turkeys and chickens in there. We moved them in there and she wasn't laying. So that kind of confirmed what we were okay with it. Cause that meant they weren't laying in the woods. And as soon as, she started laying, her sister, as soon as she started laying in that turkey chicken pen, we almost got eggs the very next day from Sassy. And now we are definitely getting two a day. And there's the daddy to those roosters you guys see crowing all the time. He is a pure AM Samani from the green fire, green field, whatever that means. I don't know, the green fire, green field line, something like that. I don't know. I don't get too hopped up on the registration and all that stuff. But my boar, Han, he is registered. But I never actually registered Lola or Leia for no reason other than, well, number one, you have to put down your address on the registration with the IPPs and any breeder for that matter. Um, you can probably use a P.O. box. I could probably use the post office address, but when they told me that, I was like, nah, I'm out. Han is registered, but I'm not a registered breeder, so I'm not on the registration list. He's Han Solo of Adler Farms. That's all I need to know. And that's Lola of Adler Farms and Leia of Adler Farms and Smokey of Adler Farms. But let's go talk about the steers I was looking at this morning and the heifers and cows and bread heifers and all that but let's go back to where the beefy boys are and talk about that real quick y'all got the guiltiest looks on your faces when i roll up sometimes yep you've been doing something you shouldn't or what and why are you eating hay look at all that What's the deal? And before anybody says, well, your pasture looks like it's kind of picked over or if he's eating hay, that means you're running out of grass. Stop, stop it, stop it. We're not running out of grass. That's just a weird steer. He's just enjoying some hay. He found something he liked, he's eating it. It's all good, okay. As for those gelb V's, gelb V, let me know what you guys think about that, that breed. You know, have you ever raised them? Do you know anything about them? Um, it's a beef Gelby cross is what I would have, like an Angus Gelby cross. And he puts some pretty good looking, uh, you know, steers and heifers and cows out. Uh, that bull does. I know that bull was like, well, I'm, I, you know, I know the man that owns it, but I think he paid upwards of about 2000 or 3000 for that bull. He drove all the way to Detroit to get it. Super knowledgeable guy. He's got like 80, 90 acres over there. 
Uh, super cool guy. I helped him get one of his steers back in the fence the other day. And we just got to talking quite a bit. And he said, hey man, if you ever want one, let me know. I'm still torn. I don't know whether I want to... I don't know if I want some now or if I want to wait. You know, it'd be awfully nice to not have to worry about hay this winter. Can you guys hear him licking that salt block? <laughs> yeah, I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. I haven't decided. I even thought about getting a pregnant heifer or a heifer that's a bred heifer is what they call them, I guess. I don't live out here. So having a calf hit the ground when I'm not out here, you know, just a lot can go wrong. And I don't want to do it just for the experience. You know, I mean, you guys know I lease my land. I don't live near as close as I used to, um, but it's just a straight shot down the highway. If I had to pull a calf or do something like that, I think I'd just rather wait until we have our own place. And, you know, I am looking, but I'm not in a hurry whatsoever. So, I mean, goodness, if I really want to start pulling calves and get that experience, the man across the street I'm talking about with the Gelby Angus Cross, he said I can come over and help anytime I want. So I got a feeling there'll be some content this winter when the beefy boys are gone. And I think that's the direction I'm heading because there's a lot of beef here, a lot of beef. And uh, I know somebody said, you know, there's no way you can get a whole steer in that freezer you just brought. Blah, blah, blah. I have a chest freezer in the garage. I said that on the video, okay? Between the chest freezer in the garage and the cabinet freezer in the house, I've got 22 cubic feet of freezer space. And it's pretty much empty right now, except for the frozen organic pizzas in the garage. I am gonna try and keep their horns at least. Uh, some of y'all, that may be weird if you didn't grow up farming, but I didn't grow up farming and I don't think it's that weird. These are the first steers I've ever raised. My next steers, my Angus or my Gelvies or whatever from Gary and Cassie and my neighbor, they're not gonna have horns. So this may be, you know, one of the last chances I get for a while to have something with horns on it. Uh, because actually using electric fencing, I don't know that I actually advise the horns. You guys are studs, man. Very, very grateful for you. Good genes, good looking. Man, very blessed. It's heating up out here a little bit. And we got some things to do this afternoon. You guys will see Case here in a little bit. Grandma and Grandpa are off work, so I'm gonna go say howdy and check back with you guys here in a little bit. What's going on, guys? You ever seen one of these? Smart thermostat. Used to have this one, and I'm covering up the brand just because they have not paid me, but in all fairness, this one's way better than this one. Okay, I'll tell you why here in a second. This is not my first time installing a smart thermostat. I've done this before. I've run wires before. I've done a lot of stuff, okay? What I'm saying is I have a background. This is not my first time. You definitely, definitely, if you get this, it is doable. There is a how-to video that I will share down below. There is a how-to video down below put out by Wise that will walk you through how to install this yourself, but I'm not actually going to show you how to install it. I'm just showing you that I'm going to install it and you can watch the video from Wise if you guys order one and you want to install it. Now you always want to wait a couple seconds when you do that. Make sure it's completely off, which it is. Now your thermostat's still going to be on. I'll show you here in a second. Your thermostat is still going to be on because you have a battery backup. Now having installed one of these before, Key things you want to look at. I do have a C wire. Okay. I do have a common wire, but you also want to take a picture of what's going on here. Okay. So that way, if you ever have to set it back to zero, or if you're like me and you rent your home, you probably want to take this thermostat with you. So that's key. You want to know how to put it back to zero.
pretty stinking cool and super easy to set up. So again, Wise didn't pay me for anything. Wise didn't pay me anything for this. I installed it myself. I bought it myself. I do have Wise cameras around my house. Uh, I believe one of the other cameras at the farm, which I can't tell you about, it also is a Wise camera. Um, but this Wise thermostat, the reason I like it, where'd my old one go? If you don't know what a common wire is, a C wire, I'm not telling you you shouldn't do this. I'm telling you, you should not do this. Now, WISE provides a common wire adapter that you have to put on the main control board. If you don't know what any of that means, don't do this. I'm saying order a thermostat, hire a professional, somebody to install it for you, okay? It is no joke. When I do a ceiling fan, I know I'm tattling on myself. When I swap ceiling fans, light fixtures, things like that, I rarely ever turn off the power, don't tell anybody. But your HVAC, you're gonna die. It's, don't, just, just don't do it. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. Serious as I can be. I know we're sarcastic and funny on this channel. Don't do it. I'm linking the professional video that Wise made down below in the description. Those are the instructions you should follow. Not the little fast sped up music over it thing that I did, okay? That's for my system and my system alone. It may not work on yours. And they're not paying me to say this, but I'm covering up the brand on this one. Um, it's a pretty popular brand, but reason I didn't like this one is you have to know like do you have a single stage a two stage heat pump you know all that stuff wise takes all that out of it for you okay when I installed this I did it myself but I had to call support you know it was a little bit uh, laborious now this thing is about four years old so maybe it's changed when I saw that wise had come out with one and not to mention it was half the price I'm gonna link it all down below because I know you guys are gonna ask but I really like it also Everybody's favorite little robots that listen to your conversations when you're at home. Alexa, Google, you know, hey Alexa, turn the temperature in my house to 70 degrees. I also have Alexa Auto. So when I'm out and away, that's a big deal to me. Like this weekend, you know, we went down and hung out at Walker's, like I mentioned in this video earlier, and we were gone for several hours. Well, I left it on 69 degrees and we left at like two o'clock in the afternoon and didn't get back until 10 p.m. and it just stayed at 69 degrees. So now, is that irresponsible? I don't know. It was pretty nice coming home to a cool house, but these smart thermostats, I can literally just open up my app either with Wise or with Alexa and Google and just change the temperature in my thermostat. It also has what's called geolocation, which means if you leave your house for a certain amount of time, you know, you can say, Hey, I don't mind if when I'm gone, it's 74 degrees, but by the time I get home and yes, it's tracking you by the time I get home, I want you to be 70 degrees. Don't sweat being tracked. You know, if you're worried about the FBI tracking you, it's too late. They already are. It doesn't take me very long to get into somebody's email account, let alone messing with their thermostat at home. My favorite thing is to go to hotels and print stuff to the public Wi-Fi downstairs, but you know, you shouldn't do that. It's, it's funny, but you shouldn't. Don't tell anybody you do it, especially when you have a YouTube channel. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm gonna link all that down below. I know you guys missed the boys. Case is doing schoolwork, Adler's taking a nap. It's just how it is, it happens, that's life. So you guys get me, you're welcome. Yeah, we need to swap that fan out. I changed all the other fans in the house, I need to do that one, but it works. So that's why I bought the thermostat first. Y'all be good, don't work too hard. Don't make it weird, God bless, deuces, see y'all.